everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and another shopping haul. Yesterday we went out to the range, to Decathlon and to B&Q and I thought I would show you some of the bits that we got. So first of all the range, I was so excited to be going there because I've not been to the range since I lived in Falkirk which was over two years ago. So I knew that there was one about 50 miles away from us where we live now and I thought oh, it was too far but then we discovered there was a couple closer so it's still maybe about 25-30 miles away but it's definitely worth the trip to go to the range this was a fantastic one it had an Iceland in it and everything I've never been to the range that's had an Iceland in it so yeah there was a bit of everything there and I just thought I would show you what we got so a lot of you may know that my lovely husband Jack has been doing the whole house up the last year has been spent doing this house up and we're still not finished. I don't think we'll ever be finished. It's one of those things that, you know, every time you get to the end of one thing, you have to start again. A bit like painting the fourth, re fourth rail bridge used to be, but not now apparently. So, shut up Fiona and just get on with it. Although he's been decorating, I've not got round to buying a lot of the little bits and pieces to sort of finish rooms off. So the hall for example, has been painted and it's looking good, but we didn't have lights or anything for the walls or anything like that. So one of our missions yesterday was to get hall lights and I wanted to get something for on the wall, just as you walk in the front door and wait till you see what I got. I know this might not be to everyone's taste and probably a few years ago it wouldn't have been my taste either, but now where we live in the country, we're right on the water and everything about us just now is just water. We're just loving the nature and we're loving being able to go out in the kayak and things like that. So when I saw this, I thought it would be perfect. Now, our colour scheme pretty much everywhere is grey because I love grey just now. And I think it's just so easy to accessorise. Right, I'm going to stop waffling and show you what I got. Hold on. And there it is. It's a little shelf unit for on the wall, but it's a boat. Look, ah, it's so cute. It's got the netting at the top. It's got a rope detail on the side of it. It's grey and a sort of rusticy white. It's got a drawer down here with the rope handle opening. And I just thought that was gorgeous. It's £25.99. And yeah, I just love it. There was something about it. As soon as I saw it, it just jumped out at me. So that is going to go above our telephone table in the hall. And I can't wait. I will show you in a vlog once it's up. And I did get something to put on it. Wait, I'll show you. So I got this gorgeous little lavender tray. So the tray itself is made of wood, very rustic looking. It's got silver handles and it's got the silver welcome sign on it. And it's got three glass jars with some fake lavender in it, which I think is lovely. It just gives that pop of colour. And I thought the fact that it says welcome is really nice if it's right at the front door. So yeah, I think that looks lovely on there. And I might just get something else purple for on the top shelf. Maybe a nice candle or something, which I won't light, obviously, because it's beside rope and wood. But yeah, I just think that's going to look lovely in my hall just at the front door. And sticking with the hall, we did get one of the lights for our hall from the range. Now, the shape of our hall is quite strange because it's a bungalow. So you've got, as you come in the front door, there's quite a wide sort of entrance area. And I'm going to put a light there. There's actually two lights at the moment. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to take one away and just have one light. Um, I'm still debating that just now. And then the actual main corridor that's got the bedrooms and things going off it is quite long so it's got a light up at the top end where the bedrooms are and it's got a light down where the kitchen is as well so i wanted a different type of light for in the main welcome area if you like than the corridor so the one that i got for the welcome area is this it's a leaf pendant light it's silver and it's quite difficult to see it like that i'll try to get a picture from the range website and put it in but that is what it looks like and it's actually really nice when it's out and up we saw it on display and it just jumped out at me again the sort of naturey type theme with the, the leaves and the silver goes well to now that was 29.99 for that which isn't too bad for lights lights are expensive aren't they really expensive 
Right, so that was everything that I got for the haul and probably everything that I got for decor. Hold on, I'll check. Yes, it was. So now I'm going to go on to the other bits and pieces that we got, like housey things and crafty things, that sort of thing. So I got the Mr. Muscle Shower Cleaner. I love this stuff. We do use the character in the shower all the time and it saves so much hassle. But any time that you think that it looks like there's maybe a wee build-up of soap or scum on the shower screen or on the base or on the walls, just a few squirts of that and it dries in so nicely. And yeah, really, really like that. And it was a good size for a good price. This was £1.49 and that's quite a big bottle, 750 mils. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a lot cheaper than it is in the likes of Asda. So £1.49 for Mr Muscle. Don't worry about breaking your back cleaning the shower again. Just spray this every time they've had a shower. And the good thing is, even the kids do it because it's so easy. And I've been needing a long-reaching duster because the lights in the kitchen now are, they've got quite intricate bits on it and they are starting to get a little bit, um, what's the word, minging. <laughs> There's like cobwebs and stuff on them. So I saw this, so it's the pink um, chenille duster. Oh, it's a flamingo one. Oh, look at the pretty flamingos. And it has got the extending pole on it so I can reach right up, even in my chair, I can reach right up and clean all the cobwebby bits. And that was, I can't see it on the receipt. Have we got this free? <laughs> Honestly, can't see it. Oh, don't tell me she didn't scan it. We definitely put everything up. <laughs> so if there's been any mistakes, I can't remember how much it was. It was three ninety nine, maybe. It was definitely a good price for this, anyway. Oh, oh, I feel bad now. I definitely can't see it on the receipt. Sorry, the range. We didn't steal it, honest. It's been a, an honest mistake if the lady hasn't put it through. She was so nice as well, the cashier. But we got that anyway. I love my flavoured coffees, as a lot of you know. And I almost missed this. It wasn't until we were at the checkout that I spotted the stand with beanies on it. I was like, oh, I need to go look, I need to go look. But Jack was actually about to get served. So I had to be really quick and just pick something up so I couldn't have a proper look. But I saw... The white chocolate and raspberry flavour. I've never tried this before and that just sounds like a dream to me. And it's keto friendly as well, which I love. Um, so yeah, this was £2.49. You probably get it cheaper in Aldi maybe. I'm not sure, but when I saw it, I had to grab it. You may know it's Granny Annie's birthday today. Today is the 14th of June. And let's have a guess at what age you think Granny Annie is going to be. Dun, dun, dun. 69 dude yep granny annie is going to be 69 today i hope is she she was born in 51 yeah that makes her 69 doesn't it yeah <laughs> i thought i better not put these on her cake and then be wrong so yeah we got her the sparkling and unfortunately we have damaged this slightly in the bag that was us it wasn't like that when i picked it up but yeah that's going to be nice for on her cake today and um these were a pound each, so not too bad. Right, one more thing before I go on to the crafty things, and that is we have a bird feeder on our terrace um, out the front, and up until now it's only been nuts that we've had on it, but we've been watching Spring Watch the last few weeks. Does anybody else watch Spring Watch? We were addicted to it. The things that you learn are brilliant, and the innuendos that Chris Jusies are just so funny. Absolutely hilarious. Me and Jack were rolling about laughing with some of it. Anyway, we saw on that that it's possible to train robins to come and take mealworms off your hands. Now, since way before Christmas last year, we've had a little robin hanging about our house that we believe, well, we don't believe, but we jokingly say is Storm, our old husky, who um, passed away not long after we moved in here and it's very very tame it comes quite close to us it actually came in the house at christmas and we thought if we get mealworms we might actually be able to train him to come on our hands so we got this lovely big bag of mealworms peckish mealworms dried and these were also not on the receipt <laughs> i'm going there again you get freebies 
honestly we did put them all up on the cash <laughs> registry bit the conveyor belt thing oh. oops they weren't expensive i think it was about two pound two pound fifty something like that um for this big and to be honest we put some out into the feeder when we came home last night and already we have we've not seen the robin yet but we have seen a lot of other birds come in that we don't normally see so it's just shows you that it's good to put a range of food out for them and not just nuts right on to the crafty bits yay i got something that i've been wanting for ages for my diamond art it's not the exact thing because the exact thing is like 20 pounds it's more expensive and i've just not got the money however it's a, it's called an itty bitty organizer and inside there's 70 compartments i'll just show you what it's like So when you unzip it, that's what it looks like. And it's got all those little plastic compartments. Now, the reason it's not exactly what I would want is they don't come out individually. They actually come out as a block, but that's fine because each individual compartment opens on its own. So my idea is when I'm doing diamond art, I can put different colors in the compartments, put a sticker on with the little code and then just take them out from there as I need them. At the moment, I put them all into little baggies and it's a bit of a hassle. This will be so much easier. And with there being 70, I can possibly even have two different diamond arts on the go at the one time, one for each side, depending how much, um, how many colours each one's got. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I do like that. That was 9 99 which is great because a lot of the ones that I've been seeing similar to this with the individual ones are like 30 40 pounds so yeah I'm really really happy with that I also have finished a diamond art recently excuse me itchy nose finished a diamond art recently that I'm wanting to put on the living room wall I think I showed it in my last crafty chat video but I wasn't sure whether to put it on a canvas or in a frame but it's quite an awkward size and I couldn't find any frames in that size so what I did was We've got a three pack of stretched canvas. This is in the 30 by 40 centimetres and I'm going to put it on this, but I will do a separate video on how I do it because I'm thinking about painting the canvas as well. So that was a three pack of stretched canvas for £15, I think. Yep, £15, which isn't bad actually because they're a good size. And we have got other pictures that we've got that we want to put on canvas and put in the living room as well. So that's ideal. I got some highlighter, what are they called? Sticky index highlighter tabs for when I'm doing my colouring so that I know what ones I've coloured and what ones I'm in the middle of and things like that. And so it's easier when I'm filming as well. I can just pop one of these on each of the pages. And that was only a pound, I think. Yep, a pound and you get 20 strips of five colours. So a hundred little tabs for a pound, not bad. And finally from the range, I got some coloured pencils. I've been colouring in so far only with pen, gel pen and fine liners and I fancied some pencil for a wee change. I don't know how good these ones are but they were 4 99 I think. Yep, they were 4 99 and hopefully they'll be semi-decent. There's 24 in there plus a sharpener plus you get three by colours so you get three that have coloured uh, two different colours. So we'll see what they're like. They might be rubbish but for me, it's just for me, it's not like I'm doing it professionally or anything like that. Oh, there was one other thing. Brooke got a bug hotel. I don't know if I've told you, but Brooke right now is into collecting bugs. She's got, her and her granddad have built a bug hotel of their own out <laughs> behind the cabin. They've got old wood and they've um, made it into like shelves. They've got little tanks that she's got, millipedes and snails and all sorts of things in and she's looking after them every day she's putting in new soil and food and she's researched them all to find out the best environment for them i'm not kidding this girl is strange and um she found a beetle yesterday and so that's in a tank as well but when we were in the range she did see a make your own bug hotel and it's just i'll put a picture in because she's already out building it and uh yeah it's basically you build it yourself and it's got all the little tubes in it for the bugs to go in and burrow and things like that and once she's built it she's going to paint it now that was originally 
four ninety nine, but there was one pound fifty off. So she got it for three forty nine, and she used her own money that she's been doing chores around the house to get. So she was really chuffed with that. Hence the reason that before nine o'clock on a Sunday morning, she's already out there with my dad building it. So that was everything that we got from the range. I will now show you what we got from B and Q because there was only a few things there. Okay, B and Q. We picked up the other hall lights in there and like I say, we've got a long corridor. So the one where all the bedrooms are, it is quite dark because there's like four bedrooms coming off the one corridor and there's no mirrors, apart, no mirrors, no windows apart from in the actual bedroom. So when the doors are shut, it's really quite dark. So I did get a nice long light, which has got four different bulbs on it. This is the B&Q Paralia, Colours Paralia range and that's what it looks like i will put a picture in because it's hard to see what it's like in this so that was a four and then for the other end of the corridor which is just outside the kitchen and it's a smaller area it is a bit lighter we got the same light but just in the two. Oh, it's upside down upside down fiona just in the two like that and I think that will be really quite nice. So it's the, if you're looking right from the bottom of the corridor, which is where I am right now, right up to the top, it's two of the same light, just one smaller than the other. And the other thing that we've got in B&Q that's worth showing other than Jack's tools and bits and pieces that he needed was a bathroom mirror. I knew I wouldn't get away with it, Ranach. I knew it. I can't get away with any video without Ranach appearing. What have you got on you? Oh, my goodness. There's some dog, mister. Look at that. Oh, look at that big bear. Look at that big bear. <laughs> ah. Hello, can I carry on? I think he hears me talking to myself and thinks, oh, I better go and give her some company. She must be bored. <laughs> right, go away. Go away. Yes. Go away. So, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the dog, the only other thing that we got in B&Q worth showing is a mirror for the bathroom and it's not the ensuite, it's the other bathroom that Jack's just finishing up doing and it's a plain mirror just with a silver frame around it. It doesn't light up or anything like that. We weren't needing anything fancy. It's basically just something to sort of decorate the wall and for the girls to be able to check the brush their teeth right or whatever. Or I don't know. Abby to do her, no she does her makeup in her room. Anyway, you like a mirror in the bathroom, don't you? So that is that. So that was everything from B&Q. Now on to Decathlon. Now I have done a Decathlon haul before, but for anyone who doesn't know, it's, I think it's a French company, but they're Europe-wide at least, maybe even worldwide. And it's a massive big um, sports warehouse type store. It's got every kind of sport you could think of from hiking to cycling to running to gymnastics horse riding archery surfing everything that you could possibly think of and we only discovered it a few months ago it became brooke's favorite shop because of all the horse riding stuff that was in it and so much so that we actually gave her a gift card for her birthday from decathlon and it was finally open again so brooke was champing at the bit as we say to get there so we went yesterday there was a bit of a queue but it was worth the wait and i won't show you everything that we got because it's not all here but i will briefly show you what we got right so as i said we've been kayaking a lot and jack was wanting shoes to wear um when we go out kayaking because obviously it has to wade into the water a bit as he's pushing the the kayak out so he got these and these are known as sailing shoes i believe sailing boots and they were 24.99 and yeah so they're waterproof they've got a nice sturdy sole so he doesn't hurt his feet on all the stones and similar to that we also got a pair uh oh oh i'm all tangled up i'm all tangled up oh dear we also got water shoes for brooke and she can wear them either in the kayak or when she goes paddling or swimming down in the the loch because they have to have something on their feet it's very stony, there's a lot of crabs, jellyfish, things like that. So we got her these. These were £5.99, I think. Yep, Aqua Shoes Junior, £5.99 for these. And again, they've got a nice sturdy sole. Um, and we got similar ones for Abby as well. And hers were for £8.99 because she's in bigger sizes. Sticking with shoes, Brooke also got a new pair of trainers. Now, yesterday when we came back, Brooke was modelling a lot of it 
and I will put clips in at the end of this to show you because it was hilarious. Really, really funny. But anyway, these were her trainers. They're lovely pink and purple, got a decent sole on them. They've got laces and Velcro and these were $17.99 for those. They had a good sale on as well with some really good trainers for like $8.99 but they didn't have any in Brooke's size. Brooke is into cycling just now with her granddad. My dad brought his bike over and they've been cycling for miles. So we got her a, a nice a bright, light, rainproof jacket for when she's cycling and it's just perfect for her. It'll keep her dry and also make sure that she can be seen by any cars. It is nice quiet roads um, because of where we live. And this was $24.99. So relatively expensive but it'll do her a while we got her the size up and it has got a hood as well and it's definitely worth it for, for the safety aspect hopefully we're going to get her on our holiday later on this year we're we think fingers crossed we are going to get to Alton Towers anyway because they're meant to be open on the 4th of July and all the camping and caravan club sites should be open then as well. But we're also booked to go to Flamingoland and actually stay in the caravan park there this year. We don't know whether we're going to get that or not. But if so, the girls are going to need swimsuits because there's a big swimming pool there. So Brooke's swimming suit is too wee for her now. I'm going to take this off the hanger so you can get a proper look at it. So she got this. I love the material. It's quite mermaidy, I think. And it's the skirt style. So when we lift that up, it's got the rest of the swimsuit there, but it's got the skirt down there. I love that. I feel comfortable on that type of thing because you're not worrying about your bum or bits showing. And at the back, ooh, ooh, at the back, it looks like that. It crosses over. And it's got the cut out bit there. It's like sort of peacocky colours, isn't it? I love it. I really like that. That was £8.99 for Brooke's one. We didn't get one for Abby because she wasn't with us at the time. Um, right, so that is everything that I've got here physically. But Brooke also got cycling shorts with the padded bit at the bottom um, to make it more comfortable for her. We were going to get her a gel seat, but my uncle, who does a lot of cycling, said that he recommends the shorts that have got the inbuilt padding in them. So we've got her those, and I think I've got some video of her wearing them, which I'll put in. And she also got a wetsuit so that when we're in the kayak or when she's in the loch, because she just loves going swimming in the loch, even in the middle of blooming winter, she loves going swimming in the loch. And uh, so we got her a wetsuit. I've definitely, definitely got footage of that. It is so funny. And also she decided that she wanted to do a bit of snorkeling. So, well, hold on, I'll tell you the prices. The cycling shorts were 9 99 That's Brooke now asking at half past nine in the morning if she can put her wetsuit on and take her snorkel down to the beach. Told you. So the wetsuit was 9 99 which is a brilliant price for a wetsuit. And um, the surf mask that she got, Easy Breathe mask, was $24.99 because it's a full face mask with the, the breathing tube bit built in. And uh, yeah, hilarious. So I'll pop that video in for you now. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, you've not got your shoes on. Brooke is now modelling in new shoes, one on each foot. <laughs> right, so the turquoise one's for the water, so you can win paddling. And the other one's your new trainers. <laughs> what is she like? She's not right in the head, that girl. Right, so that's everything from this haul. I did also get a package yesterday from the Skinny Food Co. But I'm going to wait and tag that on to the end of today's as the shopping haul. So look out for that coming up soon. I hope you've enjoyed this haul video. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Get in touch with me in the comments below. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.